All right, so in the last video, we completed the login, the authentication. We were able to log in successfully. We were redirected to the dashboard, but the dashboard is nothing more than an H1 in the template. So we need to we need to fix that. So let's go back to well, I'm going to go to my sublime text because that's where I actually have my bootstrap theme and I'm going to go to dashboard.html. We want to go below all the nav bar stuff. So right here to this section and we're going to go all the way down to right above the footer. Okay, the dashboard's not that big of a page. And then let's go back to VS Code and go to templates accounts dashboard HTML. Okay, and we're going to want to paste this in, but of course we need to extend our base template. So up here let's do extends base.html and we need to wrap this all in a code in a code block. So block content, or I should say a content block, not a code block. <clears throat> Excuse me, we need to end that down here. Okay, so let's save that. And if we now look at the dashboard, if we reload, now this is all just static data. Obviously, we've done nothing to do with contacts yet or inquiries. Uh, we haven't even created the application yet. So this is all static. Um, but we do have the nav bar showing. Okay, and that's what I want to focus on because I, I when we're logged in, we don't want register and login to show. We want this to be different. Um, so let's go back to the dashboard. And I just want to change one thing here before we get into that. And that's this the breadcrumb. We don't want this to go to index HTML. We want to put in our tags and we want URL. And we want to go index. Okay, so now what I want to do is head on over to our navbar partial. So templates partials underscore navbar dot HTML. And I want to go right inside of the UL right here with the navbar nav ml auto right above this li and I'm going to put a conditional I'm going to say if user dot is underscore authenticated. Okay, so basically if the user is logged in and then we're going to do an else. Okay, and I want everything that's here, which is the the register and the login li tags to be within the else. Okay, so I'm just going to go down to the last this ending li and just tab that over and then right underneath it I'm going to tab back and I'm going to put the end if here. And just to test this out, let's just say whatever. Hello, just to see if this works. So I'm going to save and let's go back and reload. And you can see hello. And the reason you can't really see it until I highlighted it is just because it's not a link and just it's just the way the CSS is. But we know that 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 um, conditional is working. All right. So now what we want to do is construct a log a log out link. We actually want a log out link and a dashboard link. But the trick here is the log out. It can't just be like an eight in a tag with an a traf. It can't be a link. It can't be just a standard get request. It has to be a post. So what we'll do is we'll create a form that will be that will look like a link. Okay, hopefully that makes sense because a form is what we use to make a post request. Um, we could use JavaScript and, and make a, a you know use the fetch API or Ajax or something like that. But I'm just going to construct a, a simple form to log out. But let's first put the dashboard link. So. Let's see how we want to do this. Let's grab. Let's actually grab one of these LIs right here. So this whole register LI and I'm going to paste that in here. And let's say if dashboard in request path, we're going to have this stuff. And then down here, let's change this to dashboard. And the URL is going to go to dashboard. Okay, let me just um, 
Let's see, we don't want an icon here, right? So we'll just get rid of this i tag. And I'm just going to save this and just see if this shows up correctly and works. So there we go. Dashboard. Good. If I click on that. All right. So now we have a way to get to our dashboard. Now, in addition to just dashboard, I wanted to say like uh, welcome and then whatever the username. So remember, we have access to this user object within the within the template. Okay, so within all templates. So I'm actually going to say welcome. We'll say welcome and let's do our double curly braces and we'll say user and we can access any field of the user and I'm going to access username. And then I'm just going to put dashboard in parentheses like that. So now if I save and we go back and I reload, it says welcome Kathy and dashboard just to let you know that if you click on it, it will take you to the dashboard. Um, and I spelled dashboard wrong. Uh, if you don't want to have the dashboard there and just say welcome or you don't even want the welcome, that's fine. Whatever you want to do is is uh, that's your preference. But let me just fix this. I always I type like too fast when I write dashboard. I always put the A before the O. So now that we have that, let's take care of the the logout. So right underneath. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out where where this is going to go. Uh, we have our a tag, we have our ending li. So let's put another. Yeah, let's put another li. And let's give it class. It does, we don't need the active, so we don't need to do the if statement. So we'll just say nav item. And let's do margin right three. Okay, so we're going to do that and then let's put an a tag with the class of nav dash link <clears throat> and you'll see what I'm doing in a minute here. Um, I'm actually going to put in here JavaScript and then some curly braces and what this allows us to do is actually write some JavaScript in here. So I'm going to say document dot get element by ID and the ID is going to be logout and then I just want to call dot submit. OK, so that's all I want there. Um, now. Let's uh, wait a minute. Yeah, so we have the the href. We have the class of nav link. So inside here, inside the a tag, I'm going to put an icon like a logout icon. So I'm going to do FAS and let's do FA dash sign dash out dash alt. OK, that'll give us a little um, logout link. And then I'm going to say logout right next to it like that. All right. Now, when we click this, it's going to run this little piece of JavaScript. It's going to look for the idea of logout and it's going to submit the form. So we want to create that form. So I'm going to put that right on right underneath this a tag. So we'll say form with an ID of logout. OK, now the action is going to go. To the URL of logout. OK, remember, we have that route. So the action will go to logout. We want to make sure that we add a method of post here. OK, it should be a post request and let's see inside the form. We're not going to do much. We do want to put our um, CSRF token just like we did with the other post form. So we just want to do CSRF underscore token. And then we're just going to put an input with the type of hidden. OK, just like that. So all this is all this should do is make a post request to log out. So let's save this and then let's go back to views.py inside accounts and you can see we have our log out here and we want to check to see if it's a post request just like we did up here with like the login and the register. So I'm going to copy that line and let's put that here. 
So we're going to say if there's a post request, we want to log out. So auth dot log out. It's as simple as that. We just want to pass in the request that should log us out. We want to send a message, a success message. Pass in the request and the message will just say you are now logged out and let's redirect to index. We just want to tab this over, indent this over and that should do it if we did it right. So let's save it and let's see if things work out. So we'll reload and you can see now we have a log out link. If I click that oh, message is not defined. So this should be messages, but we still should have logged out because it should have ran this. The error happened here. So if we go back, we should be logged out when I reload. Okay. So up here now, notice it says register and log in again, and we got that little message here. It was like stuck to the top. So I think what I'm going to do. Hmm. I mean, there might be a better place to put that in the index that uh, the partials alerts. I mean, we could do like a, we could put some CSS or we could do a line break or something like that. What if we did that? I mean, that pushes it down a little, but I think that's all right. So let's try it again. Let's log in. So let's say Kathy. Okay, so we're logged in and we went to the dashboard. Now, if you want a message to say like you're now logged in, which I think if we look at views dot and we look at our login. Yeah, you get that message, but the dashboard doesn't have the alerts partial. So we have to put that in there. So let's go to dashboard. And let's figure out where we want to put this. Uh, let's put it right right below the breadcrumb. So alerts. Include. Partials slash alerts dot HTML. All right. So now when, when we log in, it'll show right here. Welcome. I mean, It'll say you're now logged in. Okay, we can navigate around. Let's log out and now success. You're logged out and our register and login links are back. Okay, and the success matches disappears after three seconds because of that piece of JavaScript that we put in. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Before we jump into contacts or inquiries um, in the next video, I just want to do something that is very simple but i think is is necessary and that is to add, to be able to change the titles up here for each page because right now all the different pages okay whether it's a, a page or a listing they are they all have just bt real estate so i want to give you the option to change this and i think it's really important for listing pages i want to actually have the title of the listing in the in up here because if this comes up in a google search result then we want that in the title. We don't want just BT real estate for everything. All right. So in the next video, I'll show you how we can do that. And then we'll move on to adding our um, contact model or our contacts app with the model and database uh, database table. And we'll work on making inquiries or, or making contacts. And when I say contacts and inquiries, I mean the same thing I'm saying in this. I'm using them synonymously. All right. So that's it. I will see you in the next video.